So yeah, a uh, very competitive weekend for us, um, starting out with Iowa State yesterday. Uh, we knew what Iowa State was coming in, and uh, Coach Boomer there at Iowa State, he's done a, a fantastic job of uh, getting talent in um, just in, in about a year, and I anticipate them doing very well in the Big 12, but um, really liked how we competed. You know, we competed hard on singles. It didn't look like we were, um, you know, um, out of our league at all. Um, unfortunately, didn't... Uh, Get any singles wins, but again, very happy on how we competed and in doubles, uh, same way in our three doubles with uh, Olivia and Thaisa getting the win, uh, six two rather convincingly over their doubles was very exciting, and they they continue to play well together. You know, winning our uh, uh, MVC title at the three position this fall. So um, liking how that uh, how the, those two are uh, playing, um, and then against Saturday, uh, Saturday against uh, Omaha. I knew everything was going to be tight. Um, unfortunately, slow start in doubles and uh, fought back. But with uh, one one set to six in doubles, it, you just can't go behind early. And uh, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't uh, get any wins there. So dropping the doubles point. But uh, singles, all six matches were competitive. Um, we've got nice wins of uh, three with Kim and four with Madeline and then Thaisa. Battling into a, th a third set, unfortunately dropping that um, very close, and then but you know Harry at one, Emma at two, Val at six, all playing competitive uh, uh, matches. Um, I know at least one set in each of those three matches were were super close. So um, unfortunately we couldn't get the win against them, but um, I know Omaha's tough. Uh, uh, their coach has done a good job of uh, uh, getting some uh, good depth with them and. Uh, but I like how we competed. We got a tough weekend this uh, uh, coming up against Minnesota and North Dakota. But um, I'm really liking the team. Uh, we got a lot of young players uh, playing important positions. But um, really liking the talent. Uh, really liking the energy they uh, they have. Uh, we just got to keep uh, keep them um, uh, working hard in practice. And uh, us coaching us with the coaching staff. We gotta we gotta make sure they're uh, they're prepared. Any questions for us? Well, um, you know, obviously winning's fun, but I, I just want to make sure we're, we're we're playing with confidence. Like I said, we got, you know, we got three freshmen in in the lineup, and making sure they uh, they they know that uh, you know they're good players and they can compete at this level. Um, you know, and I I, I just want to be going into conference at the end of the in the season, just playing you know playing our best, playing with confidence, and uh, you know. Uh, just being ready to go with w when conference uh, rolls along. Is, is your lineup pretty well set, or is there still some competition for those one through six places? Is somebody trying to break the lineup that isn't currently in the, the top six? Yeah, it, it's definitely competitive. You know, I, I, we had a girl playing, uh, Olivia playing six a lot last year. Right now she's at seven. And then um, our four player, Madeline, isn't in our doubles lineup right now. And she's playing four singles. So, um, and you know, our one, two, three is, you know, <laughs> you know, I, I just don't know. We're so young, and you know, three freshmen and four new players. Madeline came in as a transfer. Um, just a lot of question marks on who goes where, and you know, we're we're fighting in practice for positions and well, and all our matches are uh, competitive against each other. So, you know, I, I like having Harry, you know, at one, having that seniority, but you know, um, who knows what can be? We're, we'll just. I, and I think it's good that in uh, in team competition because that uh, just builds that that competitive uh, match environment. So we're ready to go in, in meets. But yeah, the lineup's definitely not set. Anything else for tennis? All right, thank you.